Hello and welcome to Mindustry, a game that I checked out on stream very, very recently in a game I wanted to show you guys because, well, it looks like something that I'm going to have a lot of fun with. Well, uh, I kind of I went really far with it, so let's just go ahead and start out at Ground Zero, the introductory map, to get you guys up to speed on the channel of what exactly this game is all about. So first and foremost, if you have played Factorio or Satisfactory, this game is right up your alley. It is a mix of automation and crossed with turret defense, a lot like Satisfactory, a lot like Factorio is, but a little bit more in the uh, kind of RTS style elements, as there is actual PvP in this, like full-on like Starcraft grade unit control. It's, it's actually a lot of fun. Let me go ahead and start things off here. Uh, we notice here that this is our core. We can, well, this is everything about our base. If we lose this core, we lose the game. And it's gathering resources from these mechanical drills. So right off the bat, I'm just going to start increasing the resources that we can gather. I just go ahead and just uh, put down a bunch of other drills here. And so we are out of money. We have to wait to accumulate some more some more money from these from these drills in order to fund the existence of this one. And uh, go ahead and slap down some conveyors here. So that these guys can start outputting their goodies and send it over into our core, which can then result in more conveyor belts. You guys may recognize this kind of gameplay from any of a, any automation style game. Let me let me slap down another one of these here real quick. There we go. And then bring these across and bring this across. You slap you in there. Bring this across. That way it can output from these guys. And so let me add a couple more of you here and here. Uh, this should be probably good enough to start. You know, I always go like way overboard with the early game resources. I do this kind of thing in forts as well. I just I I get super greedy with things and just I just go. So I, I gotta I gotta learn when enough is enough. I don't need I don't need an overabundance of things. So, but I, I suppose this is an automation game. So there's there's no real such thing as an overabundance. Except kind of there is. Except if I spend because if I spend too long, Ooh, this guy I can't. He doesn't have a conveyor attachment, and he's completely surrounded on all edges, so I can't actually attach to him. So we have we have this area here, and I'm just going to fly right up here, because in about two minutes, we're going to have the enemies spawning from all the way over here. I'm going to start marching down. Now, this is the first level, so I don't really have much to worry about. And my my flying unit here, he can actually shoot. Uh, he's, not, he's not great at shooting, and while you can kite enough to... Um, to take out the early like one or two waves i really need to do work i really need to work on defending myself so i'm gonna go ahead and use some of that copper that i've generated down there rather appropriated down there and create a nice wall here uh this is mostly to convince the ai not to go this way because the ai likes to go the path of least resistance although it's not terribly picky if it's if it determines that you've in any way blocked everything it just kind of just balls up in a nice little bunch, just curb stomps everything you, you love and dear, hold dear. So I'm going to make a nice super thick wall here so the AI says this is not worth going through. I need to go through this direction. And with this direction, I'm going to line with turrets. You notice I have a lot of turrets here unlocked. Don't worry about it. Those will, those will come later. For right now, I'm just going to be building some of these guys. These are your very, very basic, or at least the most basic and cheap, cheap shooter available. There we go. And I can go ahead and pull down the stats here. Uh, they don't have much health, no, not much build time, they don't really require much, but they do take ammunition. That means we have to fabricate ammunition for them. In this case, one of the things that makes them the most, most easy to deal with is that they just take copper. Unprocessed copper. They literally just take copper rods and just chuck them at the enemies. We can do all kinds of things like have graphite rods, we can send pyrotite, which is uh, kind, of, kind of like solidified lava. So that's, that's, that's no fun. At least, uh, no fun if you if you accidentally mess it up and have it burn out your entire base. So what I'm gonna do here is stop a bunch of routers, and routers are just splitters. Anything that goes in one end gets split to all the other connections, and that's gonna enable me to have a nice, simple conveyor belt style attachment. Now let me go ahead and do that. And so any any copper that goes in this one will get split to all of these over here, and that's exactly what I want. So you can see this guy here, he's gonna come in here, and I'm just gonna let this happen. You'll see he goes through, and he's just gonna walk through this and shoot all my stuff. And I can shoot back, and I can't take him out. There we go. He did some damage to me. I don't really care that much. I can always just, un I can always just, this guy's damage, just sell him off, and put him back. And now he's full health. Yay! Now for the time being, let me just go ahead and get some, some drills over here. Cute. Like so. You will be made out of copper. 
and you will supply all of these guys with their much needed copper. And because I don't want them shooting, shooting my base, I'm going to put some nice thick copper walls here. And some more copper walls over here because you're not going this way. Please don't go this way. I don't want to have to deal with that right now. Uh, I could just duplicate this kind of setup over here. Too lazy. Don't want to deal with it. Keep it nice, simple. And you know what? Let's go ahead and add even more of these guys here. Ah, yes. I have run out of money. And by money, I mean copper. And you can see them slowly building. That's because I'm just constantly, constantly getting copper from the from down down below. And we'll we'll, we'll get, have to upgrade that because I can't even build enough of these of these turrets to uh, fill out just one lane here. And that's 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 unacceptable. You know me. I have to like fill up this entire area with turrets because I I like that kind of that kind of automation. If I haven't over automated everything to to build ev well completely overrun the world with with my with my anti-economic practices, my eco-unfriendly practices, then we're gonna have we're gonna have a problem. It looks like these conveyor belts are actually getting gummed up from having too many too many things on them. So I'm gonna split you guys off over here. Thank you. Let's do this as well, and then set these guys over here. There we go. That should help alleviate some of the problem. There we go. Much much better. Now we're not maxing the capacity of those of those conveyor belts. Now we get to watch what happens when we have our fully operational turret. And he's gone. Nice. So next up, you'll notice that there are other resources on the map. We have copper here. There's a sand. No, it's just, just dirt. We have some scrap over here, which is a derelict structure. Let me go ahead and sand all this off. Pre-generated structures that we can cannibalize with our goodies. We have scrap here that we can use. Uh, we can do things like build scrap cannons and such. Uh, this is not useful to me in terms of building structures, but I could use it as like ammunition, or I can do some secondary refining. Like for example, I can go over to the where is it? The melter and melt all the scrap down into basically lava, and which can then be used to spew lava at the enemies, which is totally not going to be a video where I flood the entire world with lava. Uh, but more importantly, I want to be utilizing this lead over here. I think actually, is there a closer patch of lead? There's got to be a closer patch of lead. Uh, where's... where's lead? Give me lead. Lead, right over here. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of this, and this is a very useful resource. Uh, used a lot in anti-air style turrets and machineries, especially elect early game electronics. So I'm gonna be grabbing all of this. Slide you over here, actually. You bring you down and across and all the way down. And across again, all the way down and slam you right into our our little hub here. There we go. And the goal of this game is to land land in this in this little boxed-in canyon and gather as many resources, ex extract as many resources as we can, and then escape. Escape back into space from whence we came, and use all the resources that we have gained to continue our technology tree in progress. Actually, can I slide this in? Yes, I can. There we go. Still attach conveyor belts and all this. I, th I think these early waves are just like hilariously simple. Oh, two of these little I wouldn't really want to be taking on two of them with just my little fighter ship here, but uh, I've got a few more than just one little turret here and that'll, that'll handle. And I'll probably honestly handle all of this for the remainder of remainder of the, the entirety of the amount of time I'd ever want to be on this map. There's really not that much resources on the tutorial map in particular. But you know what? It's the tutorial map. I'm okay with this. Let's see. Let's bring you down over here. Attach you here. Slide you here. There we go. So now we have all of those attached. Yes, all those are attached. And across. And down. There we go. And down again. Across and down again. There we go. I think I, I think I've moved too far. And don't, yeah, I gotta go complete all the construction. There we go. Nice. So now I'm gonna have a lot of lead incoming this way. And with lead, I can now get another turret available to me. I can build these scatter, which is an anti-air turret. It's basically strictly anti-air. Uh, the lead will fire lead rounds. They're not explosive. They're not flak. But if I were to load this up with just pure scrap. I can have scrap explosives, or like shotguns, which is quite quite cool. I think I'm going to do that. Actually, you know what? Let's have it be half and half, shall we? I actually don't have enough lead right now to finish constructing these, so I'm going to come over here and just 
add the entry, create the uh, ammunition deposit. Yes, there were some drills there I could have used. I wanted to get a little bit more efficiency out of that. Let me grab these real quick. And across. So now we have this here. Could attach router here. Just to split all of this off. Nice. Slam it right in there, and that will have splitter tur or scatter turrets, which will fire basically just lead rounds, lead rods at any aircraft that come by. I don't think there are aircraft coming by just yet. Uh, I think we have to get the later rounds for that. But there's nothing nothing terribly exciting about these early rounds. What I could do here is grab a couple mechanical drills, and these will just pick up generic scrap on the ground. I'll send this up here, and I can do the same kind of thing with these scatter turrets. And these will fire uh, basically a shotgun of a uh, scrap shrapnel. That's a sorter. I want a router. There we go. Routers are the, uh, the splitters here. And these will get ammunition. You can see the ammo bar on the bottom right filling up. There we go. Beautiful. You'll notice that they take liquid. Liquid is a coolant. It is like an efficiency multiplier. So if say I were to go over here to the scatter settings, you can see it takes different ammo types, whereas a scrap does more damage, does more area damage, wider area damage, has a higher ammo multiplier, but lower fire rate. And I can do these boosters. These take either water or cryo fluid, which is an advanced, advanced actual legitimate coolant. And it's it's quite quite good. And you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait a moment. We have a launch opportunity. So launching is when you have the opportunity to leave the planet. I can press the launch button right now, and any resources that I have sent into my core all the way down here will come with me up into up into space. And where I could use those to purchase to purchase technology advancements and new things. And that's that's what we want. And there's there's really not much else for me to do on this particular particular tutorial world. With some of the advanced gear, I can do things like build graphite presses, which requires coal to turn into graphite. Um, there's no coal on this particular world. Uh, there is, however, this, which is lava. I kind of like little geothermal vents kind of idea. And I can go over to the power section and have them and build some geothermal generators on this, which is quite which is quite um quite good. I recommend it. Uh, however, they require more advanced materials, which are otherwise not available on this planet. Like, I, I need the components to build it, like all the machinery and such. Uh, so we'll have to come back to that a little bit later. One thing I can do, however, is melt down this scrap and put it through a separator, which will enable me to gather legitimate resources like titanium or excess lead out of that scrap which is quite a good quite a good means of doing this i can actually use this water here as a coolant let's say let me i don't think i have yeah i have water here but i don't have uh, materials to build any any real good high-tech stuff so that's going to be we're going to be launching here because there's really not not much else for me to do in this tutorial world but it's good enough to show you the basics of things and how it works Alright guys, if you want to see some some of the, the massive amounts of things we can do in this game, like literally flood the world with lava and watch all the watch all the mobs just just fall apart, make sure to make sure to check back or to join us in the live stream, because I imagine I'm gonna do a full campaign playthrough here, all the way from all the way from this tutorial level to literally making giant nuclear facilities that usually end up exploding on me because they get shot and exploding in nuclear reactors not not generally healthy for the industry that's around it. But for now, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys later.